Hey, what's up, guys? It's 96SDU here. Um, thought I'd make a video on my models, as you can see. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I have, uh, I'm pretty, I'm kind of sick, so you can probably hear it in my voice. But, uh, I'm bored, so might as well just make a video. Alright, so, this is my current project. It's a 65 Chevy, and, uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I, I have this in the back because uh, the, where the uh, axle meets the bed, it broke broke off a little bit, so I had to glue it back on and then weigh it down with that. Um, but anyway, you can see. I don't know if you can see, but uh, it turned out pretty good in my opinion. There's that all the engine components, Chevy uh, uh, Chevy engine orange. Battery, heater, radiator hose, all that stuff. And then the grill and the bumper and all that stuff. It's pretty much done. Uh, I, this is probably, probably the model that I had the most trouble with because uh, since the axle was crooked like I was saying, I didn't know what was going on. And one side sat higher than the other. And then I figured that out, so that's all good. And this one, the radiator goes in pretty much all four ways, and I wasn't sure which one, because there was not really any distinguishing marks, so I just put it in one way. I figured out it was bouncing off the bottom of the frame, because it was hanging off too low in the bottom, so the cab wouldn't go all the way on the bottom, and that's the problem I was having, so I had to flip that around, and then it fit on there good, but it took me a while to realize what was going on. But, uh, yeah, that one turned out pretty good. Now, uh, let me show you some of my other models here. I'm going to try to make this video kind of short. Not too long, so, because I made one earlier and it's like 10 minutes long. It's like, yeah, that's, gonna t that's not good. So there's a Nova Pro Street. Got the big fat tires on it. Air rear end. Um, pretty nice engine to go with it. Uh, grill and all that stuff you can see that's my first model ever and I think it turned out pretty good as you can see it's not very shiny though that's because I didn't discover clear coat <laughs> yet so that was my problem there and then uh, here's a 69 Corvette I got, I got the mirror case to go with it so I think that looks, makes it look pretty good you can see underneath of it uh, this one's pretty shiny because I put clear coat on there, and this is probably my best model so far. Maybe that one is. I haven't really decided decided yet. And uh, there's a 67 Chevelle. That one turned out pretty good. There's the mirror and everything. The wheels, all that stuff. That one turned out pretty good. I didn't put clear coat on that one either because I didn't know, uh, know where to get it or anything. But, uh, yeah, those are my models so far. Oh, I got one more to show you. One second here. It's a Tomcat. This is my first plane model I've done. I did depreciating everything to make it look like it's been used, you know, not brand new. Uh, yeah, I thought that one turned out pretty good. For my first ever plane model, I mean. Yeah. And uh, this is my new project that uh, I'm going to work on next. See, it doesn't look that cool, but look. Bam. That's what I'm going to make right there, except minus the white walls. But, yeah. Uh, I got this one for free, basically, because uh, my mom saw it and just got it for me, so that was pretty nice of her. But, uh, yeah. That's my next project. I'm going to paint it this uh, right here. It's uh, pearl purple. So, I'm not sure how good that's going to turn out. I'll, I think I'll either love it or I'll hate it. Not really sure. So, that, that'll that turn out good, uh, hopefully. Set that down. I also wanted to show you. I also got some, uh, those I spray painted. All those ones over there and right there. I spray painted them. But, I just got, uh, this air hose. And an airbrush from Harbor Freight. The airbrush was 20 bucks, and this right here was eight. And then I got that three-gallon air compressor over there for 60 on sale.
but uh, my friend has this exact same airbrush, and he got he, he's a airbrush over 15 models, and still works flawlessly. So like for for that amount of money, I mean, you can't go wrong really. If it breaks, I'll just buy a new one, you know. But uh, I'm excited to start airbrushing because that'll make my models look 10 times better than what they do right now. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, all I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, still no blazer. I'm working on it. I'm I'm, I'm actually going to sell my uh, quads and everything because uh, my dad's pretty, uh, how'd you say it? I don't know, but his best friend just passed away on a motorcycle accident. And his dad, his best friend, well not his best friend, but one of his really good friends. And he's only 45, so, uh, that was pretty sad, so, but, uh, yeah, so I'm going to sell those, and I'll get, my dad said from all the money I get from that, and then I have another S10 I'm going to sell, and then I have this white one that I have right now, and I'm going to put all the money from that together and get a, uh, blazer, like I was saying, so, uh, this next weekend coming up, it's, uh, let's see, it's Monday right now. This weekend coming up, I'm going to go to the storage unit, which is where they are, and I'm going to clean it up and get those and then put them, up, put them on Craigslist. So, uh, yeah, I should get my, once I sell those, I'm going to buy a blazer, so within the month, probably. Hopefully is what I'm hoping. I might get, I'm, I'm debating between a blazer and a short box truck, but... I'd prefer a blazer. I'm only gonna get a short box truck if I can't find a blazer that I got, so. So, uh, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys soon, and, uh, until then, peace.